Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Elliot Volkman, and you may recognize me from such classes as Online Communities 101 and Blogging 101. Today, we're going to take a quick look at how you can teach a University of Reddit course. Or in other words, hey dog, I heard you like teaching classes, so I'm going to teach you a class about how to teach classes using one of the methods to teach class. Dog. The University of Reddit has been around for over two years now, and in that time we have accumulated over 22,000 subscribers to the subreddit that want to further their education. And I can't promise you're going to get nearly that amount of people to your class. However, out of those, there's likely to be at least a handful of individuals that want to learn from you and that will allow you to share your knowledge. So today we're going to cover three different methods so you can actually do this. All right, before we get to the three common teaching options, uh, I just want to take a quick look at the fully integrated site that fully integrated with Reddit site called uredit.com. So the University of Reddit is both a subreddit. Uh, it's at r slash University of Reddit, or you can find our actual off site uh, where you can host the classes at uredit.com. It was created by Anastas, who has been kind enough to gradually build it up and add more features. He just does this out of the kindness of his heart, so you know, feel free to thank this guy for providing all that he does, because there is a lot of work that goes into it, and he actually has made it open source as well, so if you have any interest in helping build out the University of Reddit, uh, and we're always looking for moderators to help with spam and all that good stuff, feel free to reach out to us. All right, so there are three common methods that we're going to be going over. Uh, it's using the tools of Reddit as itself. So you can create a subreddit to teach people. You can create a blog or a live chat. And then you can also do what we're doing right now, which is live streaming and recording it so that others can uh, go back to the course when they have more free time. Uh, because as we all know, Reddit is a global site, so we are going to be catering to a global audience. So it's very likely that you might be based in America, but uh, students will be somewhere in Europe. So it's just going to be a difference with time zones and all that fun stuff. So if you can record it or you have information that's going to be available after your scheduled times or meeting times, that's going to be ideal for you. All right, before we actually get to the three different methods, uh, let's just take a quick look over at uredit.com. So as you can see here, we're at uredit.com. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's got a little simple design just like Reddit does. Um, up at the top, and now this is actually kind of mirrored how the reddit.com is laid out. Uh, all you have to do is either register or log in up at the top right. Uh, so obviously I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in, put in my information, and then I can just show you just a couple of different areas that you'll need to use. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, the first thing that I see, because I'm already registered to classes and I have my own class listed on here, uh, on the left side it shows my class schedule. Um, so right now it shows that I'm attached to Anastasis HTML and CSS course. Uh, below that we have Music Production, and then Psychology 101, and then all the way at the bottom, Blogging 101, which is my course. Um, so as you can see, since that is my course, I get a few different options. You can edit the course, and then you can mass message everyone that's registered to the course. Uh, if you hit the little plus sign next to the class title, it'll give you a little bit more information. And you'll be able to access this with everyone's. Um, you'll be able to see the Reddit account attached to the course if they've linked their account, uh, the class URL page, and then the class page itself. All right, so today obviously we're here to teach course. Uh, before we wanna do that, um, you should probably go to the subreddit and post a self post uh, gauging your interest there. Uh, you're also gonna to wanna to be able to use that link on the posting uh, in this next area. So for you, if you don't actually have a class yet, it'll probably say up at the top here at the right, uh, teach class. For me, it'll be teaching because I've already started. All right, and then over at the right side, it'll say create a class. I'd like to teach one more. Or for you, it'll say I'd like to teach. All right, so I'm actually going to cheat through this process because I just already wrote 
out in advance everything that we're going to be doing. Um, but I'm going to show you just quickly exactly what you need a list on here uh, so we can get the most to your students. So the course name is Teaching How to Teach. You read it. All right. And this we can just call it um, General Studies. And then we're going back to the self post that I said uh, that I would be offering this course. You just copy and paste that URL, paste it into there. All right, my course description here. I'm just going to copy and paste everything that I wrote out in advance. That way you don't have to sit here and listen to me talk to myself. Um, all right. So essentially what we're going through here is just like any real class that you would be taking. Uh, you want to put in a course description, a uh, simple syllabus. So if you are going to teach more than one session in your class, make sure you list that. Uh, if you have any course prerequisites, go ahead and put that in there as well. Uh, and if you have additional information like how you want people to contact you for questions, that sort of thing, uh, just throw that in the additional information area. And then, of course, the most important area is going to be your qualifications. So right now we have a PhD teaching a lot of great classes. Uh, we have a pretty good marketing guy who's got his own web series right now, and he's basing uh, requests from students to build out some of that series. Um, so just feel free to put in that information, whatever you think is relevant to your students, um, because on occasion they really will ask and uh, question you about your qualifications. So that's not saying that you can't teach about anything if you don't have you know, a doctorate degree, but just be a little bit considerate when you're looking at teaching people. You don't want to teach them something that could harm them in the future. All right, so for this, I just listed my qualifications. I've taught a few courses. I'm a moderator, and of course, I love bacon. So at the very bottom, we also have the option for either live lectures, or it'll be obviously not live lectures. Uh, so that will be either the first or second method. Um, so this will be live. You just hit submit, and you have a class. Uh, another thing that you'll note is there is a discuss comment system at the bottom. Uh, unfortunately, it won't automatically uh, alert you to these comments on here, so you'll want to come back and take a look at your uh, page to make sure that there's not questions or comments there as well. Um, but just as a little trick to actually get alerts when you uh, get comments on this page, just post a comment and register it to your email address. That way, anytime someone puts a follow-up comment on there, uh, you'll get another alert as well. All right, so now that you've got your class set up, you've got your self post on Reddit, and people know exactly when you're gonna start teaching uh, and how they can get a hold of you, uh, let's just go through the three basic methods. All right, so the very first one, we're going back to the regular Reddit site. As you can see, we're at the University of Reddit um, subreddit. All right, so if you've never created your own subreddit, it's really pretty simple. You don't have to have CSS experience or any of that nature. Uh, all you have to do is hit create your own community. All right, so for this method, we're going to be creating our own subreddit. Uh, obviously, it's pretty straightforward. All you need is a name for the subreddit. You stick in a title, a description, and then the other options, just keep those as default. And then once you're done with that, hit create, and you have your own subreddit. Alright, so it has now confirmed that this has been created. Um, you can just click teaching, well, the title of your subreddit here. So it's completely empty, and that means you'll want to go back to your self post and let people know this is where your information is going to sit. So you can just create pretty much uh, like this is a blog. Um, all you would have to do is hit submit a link, select over to text and then you'll create your title and then you'll put in text for the information here. Um, so this is basically going to just be where you can use it like a blog or you can have discussions uh, or host other information as well. All right, the next option, uh, I'm not actually going to be able to show you specifically how to do this, um, but you can create your own blog or you can use one of a dozen or hundreds of different live chat 
or IRC chats uh, to host uh, live meetings. So pretty straightforward. Uh, you can go to blogger.com or wordpress.com and you just you know create a simple blog, put your information there, um, and then you share it back to uh, the University of Reddit subreddit. Uh, and then here all you would have to do is put update in brackets and then you'll put the title in there uh, and then that's where people will know that your information has been updated and they can find the information uh, through whatever you put in that self post. Uh, if you actually want to create your own blog and you don't know how, um, I actually just taught a class on how to create your own blog so feel free to reference that or ask me and I will be glad to help you guys out. Uh, the next method is actually going to be live streaming and recording the things, uh, which is what we are doing at this exact moment, so I don't know how much more meta we can get. Um, if you don't want to use something like Ustream or Livestream, uh, Google Plus actually now allows you to do an on-air thing. Alright, so let's say that you're going to teach through uh, a Google Plus platform. All you have to do is create a Hangout for it. Uh, so up at the top right, just select start a hangout. Let it do its magic. And then you can either uh, group people or have it as an open uh, hangout so others can just kind of jump in with a link. Alright, and as you can see down at the bottom here, uh, it says enable hangouts on air. So what that means is uh, it will allow you to have a little bit more control for the Hangouts uh, and it will also record automatically to YouTube so that way you don't have to really edit you don't have to worry about uploading things uh, it will do all of it for you um, other than that all you would have to do is hit Hangout and from here you'll just have people join in and then you can either use webcams uh, or chat um, and that way you'll be able to have live meetings as well Let's take a quick recap here. The ureddit.com website is going to be where you uh, host and message everyone that's registered for your class. So anyone that's selected add to your course uh, will now be able to receive a mass message. So if you want to do that, all you would have to do is go to the teaching tab and hit mass message. Uh, very simple. Uh, all you do is put in a subject and a message and it will send out everyone a message through our platform. Uh, and to receive these messages, uh, just like on Reddit, there's a little envelope. You select it, and you'll be able to see all the messages that come and go. Uh, it'll also show all the messages that you send as well. Keep in mind, uh, these are only a couple of methods, a few metho methods that you can use. Uh, if you want to do anything else, feel free to. Um, just make sure that it's uh, geared towards your audience. The easier it is, the better. Uh, so as I mentioned before, if you have any questions, just press the message to the mo message to the moderators button or send me a message on reddit or twitter or anything of that nature uh, otherwise that wraps it up so thank you